Hi and welcome to Percentage Increase and Decrease. Um, just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So we're going to begin by looking at how we uh, do a percentage increase or decrease without a calculator. Um, and so this begins with, uh, first of all, increasing £40 by 5%. Now, in order to do this, the first thing we should always do um, when trying to find percentages of amounts, we want to start with what 10% would be worth. Um, and we start with 10% because it's the easiest one to find because we just divide by 10. So the £40, if we divide it by 10, it is £4. And so that will be 10%. But the question is asking for 5%. And so that will be the next thing that I work out. And in order to find 5%, well, I have halved what I had for 10%, therefore I'm going to half here as well. And if I half four, I get two. And so 5% of 40 pounds is two pounds, but this says increase 40 pounds. And therefore the answer would be that I have 40 pounds plus that 5%. And so my solution here would be 42 pounds. Next, we're asked to decrease £60 by 15%. So again, the first thing I need to do is find the 15%. And so again, I'm going to begin with 10%. And 10% this time will be 60 divided by 10, which is 6. And because this is 15%, I will also need 5% again. And so again, in this case, I've halved it. And so I'll half over here as well. 6 Half of six is three, but in this situation, I needed 15%. And so I'm actually going to add those two things together. 10% plus 5% is 15%. And therefore six plus three is the value of 15%. It's nine pounds. Now, the next bit here is that it was a decrease. Decrease means to reduce, it means to take away. And therefore, in this case, it's 60 take away nine, which is, 51 pounds and the last one we're going to increase 25 pounds by six percent now in this case i'm going to have to go through a few little stages i'm going to go with 10 percent first as my starting point and so 10 percent is going to be dividing by 10 which gives me 2.5 now in this case because i want six percent what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go all the way down to one percent and to do that, I have divided by 10. And so I'm going to do the same on the right-hand side. 2.5 divided by 10 is 0 0.25. And so 1% is 0 0.25. Now what I'm actually going to do next is another step. I'm going to take this up to the 6% that I've been asked for. And therefore, that is multiplying by 6. Now, in this case, 0 0.25. If I had four of those, it would be 1. And so another 2 will be another 0 0.5. And so that is 1.5. And this one was an increase. So I now know my 6%. This is the only piece of information I'm interested in. But I want to increase my £25 by the 6%. And that gives me 26.5. But with this one, we've always got to be careful. When it is money, we've got our pound sign and we have our two decimal places. So £26.50. So next, we're going to look at how we can use a calculator to do these increases and decreases. And the reason uh, that we're going to look at a calculator method is that we just want to look for the most efficient way of getting the answer. And that would mean trying to get the answer in one simple calculation and so for the first question we are asked to increase by five percent now all i want to think about here is that to start with i have 100 percent i have a hundred percent of uh, of the value and then i increase it by five percent and so i add a little block on which is worth five percent and so what i'm actually looking for when i bring it all together is 105 now, 105% is um, a simple calculation because uh, if you've seen previous videos and you know how to use a calculator to find percentages, well, we know that the word of just means times. 
And 105%, well, 105%, we can either write as a fraction, which is 105 over 100, or as a decimal, 1.05. Now, these two, uh, these two uh, fractions and decimals, they are called our multipliers. And that is just because that is what we multiply by in order to get our answer. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my calculator and I'm going to do exactly that. 1.05 times 200 and I get an answer. It's 210. And so my answer is 210 pounds. Very straightforward. In the next one, I have originally 100%. But this time, it's asking me to decrease by 15%. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a little piece off. I'm going to take 15% off. Now, what does that leave me with? Well, I had 100% and I've taken 15 off, which means I'm down to 85%. And so what I'm looking for is 85% of 90. And so once again, I've got two options. I can either use the fraction 85 over 100 or the decimal 0 0.85 but in both cases I'm going to multiply by 90 and it will give me the answer so let's do it as a fraction this time 85 over 100 multiplied by 90 and that comes to 153 over 2 well let's press the SD button and we get 76.5 now again, this is money that we're dealing with. So we want our pound sign and we want our second decimal place. So £76.50. And lastly, we're going to increase £35 by 35%. So what did we begin with? Well, we had 100%. We've increased, which means we've added an extra 35%. And so in total, what we have is 135%. We use that 135% as a multiplier. So again, we could have the fraction 135 over 100, or we could have the decimal where we just divide by 100, so 1.35. And in both cases, we would multiply by the original amount, which was 35. And if we do that, again, just grab our calculator, 1.35. 35 times 35 we get 189 over 4 which is 47.25 and so we have 47 pounds and 25 okay so now let's put uh, go to some uh, wordy functional questions um, so with a calculator Jeff buys a car for 3,500 pounds plus 20% VAT how much does he pay in total? Now, the important thing here, VAT, this is tax. It is a value which is added on um, to the cost of, a, uh, cost of any uh, large purchase. And so this is a percentage increase. And so again, all I want to think about is I started out with 100%, but now I need to add an extra 20%. So in total, I am dealing with now 120% of my original amount. And so 120%, well, that's going to be 120 over 100. Or if we wanted to write this as a decimal, 1.2. And that is going to be multiplied by the price of the car. So times by 3,500. Let's bring up our calculator. 120 delete over 100 multiplied by 3500 well that comes to 4200 and so the actual cost of that car would have been 4200 pounds a tv normally costs 600 pounds the shop is having a 35 percent off sale what is the sale price of the tv well, in this case, this is a sale, and that means we're actually doing a reduction or a, um, or a decrease. And therefore, our 
Well, we started with 100% of the value, but we have reduced it. We've taken off 35%. And so now all I'm interested in is this piece. What is left over? So it was 100%, I've taken 35% off. That leaves me with 65%. And so 65% is our multiplier. So again, 65 over 100 times 600, or using the decimal, 0 0.65 times 600. We bring up our calculator, 0 0.65 times 600. We've got 390 pounds. And so in the sale, we would only be paying 390 pounds for that television. And lastly, Colin buys a house for £120,000. After five years, the value has depreciated by 9%. How much is the house worth after five years? Now, in this case, this word here is very important. If it, it has depreciated, that means it has lost value. And therefore, this is a percentage decrease. So we started with the original value of the house at 100% of the value but it has lost 9%. And so the 9% has been taken away. So again, all we're interested in here is what is left over. So if it was 100% and we take a nine away, that leaves us with 91%. So 91% is our multiplier. So again, that could be 91 over 100 or 0 0.91. And that's going to be multiplied by the original value of the house 120,000 pounds and so all we do 0 0.91 times 1 2 0 0 0 0 and we end with an answer of 109,200 and so you'll see we've managed to get each of these answers really quickly with one single calculation by using a multiplier for that percentage change. And so we end with our exam question. It came from the Edexcel paper in November 2018 and it was foundation paper three. Now importantly there, paper three means it is a calculator paper. So we are going to be able to use a calculator as we work through this. Um, and it says, Trevor buys a boat. The cost of the boat is £14,200 plus VAT at 20%. Trevor pays a deposit of £5,000. He pays the rest of the cost in 10 equal payments. Work out the amount of each of the 10 payments. Now, just to uh, show you something about the way this question is set out, you'll notice that there are gaps in between. And the reason for those gaps is that basically it's telling you how to break down the question. The first thing you need to deal with is the cost plus fat. And so as it is plus, that is a percentage increase, and so we began with 100% of the value, but it has been increased by an extra 20%. And therefore, in total, we are now dealing with 120%. And so the first thing I'm going to do is 120 over 100, and I'm going to multiply it by the cost of the board, so 14,200. And I'll grab my calculator, and do just that. And we get an answer of 17,040. So 17,040. So that is the total cost of the, uh, of the board, 17,040 pounds. That is the first section completed. But then it comes to Trevor paying a deposit. Now, a deposit is a first payment. And so he has £17,040 to pay in total, but he has paid 5000 to begin with. And so we're going to subtract that amount. And if we do that, it means he's left with £12,040 left to pay. The rest of the cost is in 10 equal payments. So the remainder of his balance, £12,040, is paid in 10 equal pieces. And so the very last thing we want to do is work out what each of those is worth. And so if they are divided equally, 
Well, that just means divide by 10. And we could grab our calculator, but dividing by 10, we can just take the zero off the end. One, two, zero, four. And so each payment would be £1,204.